Sir Paul McCartney has come under fire for not playing enough Beatles songs during his Glastonbury performance last night, but Hess had one famous fan leap to his defense. Although the Beatles split up in 1970, after which Paul, 80, launched a solo career and formed the band Wings, fans were left wanting more of his older hits. Piers Morgan took to Twitter to share his thoughts on the matter, highlighting that Paul had actually played nine of the greatest pop songs ever from his 10-year career with the Beatles. Piers wrote, Twitter's moaning Macca didn't do enough Beatles hits. He played Can't Buy Me Love, Love Me Do, I Saw Her Standing There, Lady Madonna, Blackbird, Get Back, Something, Let It Be, and Hey Jude. Those songs alone are nine of the greatest pop songs ever. Twitter. STFU. Hash Piers isn't the only one to applaud the setlist that has come under question, lead singer of rock band Deacon Blue Ricky Ross, 64, has praised Paul's damned perfect set. He said, Wow! Does Macca know how to put a show together or what? No one could write this set list. Critic Catherine Flett leapt to Sir Paul's defense, insisting that with his career has entitled to do whatever you effing will like. She wrote, So you're Macca, you've written a sizable percentage of the greatest pop songs ever, you're 80 and frankly you can do whatever you effing will like. On the other hand, given the infinite magnificence of your back catalogue, do you really just stick pins in it to make a set list? Darren Richmond poked fun at the situation by copying a trending reaction to Twitter backlash, he wrote, Paul McCartney won't see your tweets complaining about his set list but your songwriting genius friends with unparalleled bodies of work and careers spanning six decades will. Paul made history as he took to the stage at the age of 80 to become the oldest ever solo headliner at Glastonbury. Paul's set list was made up of 33 songs, with an additional five for the encore. Seven of the songs were from his band Wings, while one was from his first group The Quarry Men. 22 of the 38 songs were Beatles hits, with Paul doing a virtual duet with the late John Lennon as he opened up the encore with I've Got a Feeling. From the stage, Paul said, I know it's virtual, but there I'm singing with John again. We're back together. Paul paid tribute to his rock rivals the Rolling Stones in his intimate warm-up set in Froome. The music legend played I Wanna Be Your Man, which he wrote alongside John Lennon for the Rolling Stones in 1963. The song went on to be the Stones' first top 20 hit, although Lennon would later admit that the two had knocked the song out in minutes, saying, Well, we weren't gonna give them anything great, right? Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at WebCelebs at Mirror. Co.2Corp or call us direct 0207 29